What is going on, everybody? This is Ryan from the Twisted Mug Media Network uh, YouTube channel, starting off a new thing that I'm going to be doing, hopefully playing some video game, uh, specifically sports video games. Um, I was going to do a full series before with the Washington Nationals. I even recorded a few episodes, and I realized that I wasn't quite ready for an intense series like that, so I think I'm going to start off here with my um, co-favorite team with the Pittsburgh Pirates, that is the Boston Red Sox. Um, they're kind of a mess. Uh, the idea for this series is I'm going to be doing it mostly Let's Play style. I'll edit out some, you know, dead air. Not sure how much in-game I'm going to be playing. It's going to be more of a rebuild. Um, but I'm going to be going one year per episode. So I'll go um, full calendar year, um, beginning of the season to beginning of the season in each episode. Um, so we're going to get into it. There's a lot wrong with this team. I don't really know what the idea with management is right now. I don't see it. Um, we're going to advance. Obviously everything's going to be on auto and we are going to start at a regular season. Um, let's look at the, ooh, it's auto saving. Let's look at the lineups and I know Rymel Tapia is, first of all, just not on the team anymore, but that's fine. Um, our catching situation is awful. Like, this this lineup is not very good. Like, just looking at it, obviously Rafi Devers is undervalued. I don't understand why he's an 84. He's an A potential, so hopefully that'll go up over the course of the series, especially with that payday that we've given him. Um, but other than that, Yoshida should be better than he is, first of all. Moving on from that, still going to put him at the five spot, five spot. Verdugo is playing really well in real life. Um, I know there was talk that he maybe should have been an all-star. Um, there's just not a ton of talent here. And that's a problem. But I'm going to try to keep this somewhat realistic. We're going to be trying to get some trades. I know, I don't think I want Bayo up in the up in the MLB right now. I definitely would all Kluber is definitely not starting, just first of all. Um, because I know that happened in real life. Um, he is just out of the rotation because he has been pitching terribly. Uh yeah, just bad. So we're gonna go with one quick move. To start things off, we are going to put Bayo Unless he's out of options. He out of, no, he has not used even one option yet. Use an option, send him down. Um, I'm fine with bringing up a D potential. He is not on the 40 man. He is. We're going to bring up a C potential 27 year old, Cutter Crawford, to be a long relief guy, along with Corey Kluber. Um, this rotation, or not rotation, this bullpen's not very good. We're going to put Kenley back in the closer role. Chris Martin's going to be a middle reliever. Um, the top middle reliever. Hopefully they give him the innings. Um, and yeah, Sale I know is hurt in real life, um, right now, but we're going to, we're going to let it rock, um, with him as our ace and see if he gets hurt. Um, Trevor Story is hurt. In real life, I might just have him sit the first, like, two months, see what happens. Um, I'll probably bring him up after that. Uh, and Mondesi, actually, I want to... He's on the... Mondesi is how you pronounce his name. I'm going to bring him up. I'm going to add him to the 40-man. I'm going to clear some of this stuff up, get all the lineups ready to go, and then I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I think I got all the lineups uh, all taken care of. So, a big thing with this team is the money that we spend so obviously being a red sox fan i'm used to us spending a lot of money but um i don't love the way that this this lineup is currently constructed money constructed money wise um dever is given that huge 10-year contract all for it um the sale contract we're just kind of stuck with i think um unless he starts to pitch well and we can offload him um same with the trevor story contract i'm going to give him some time um yoshida is a big deal Jensen and Turner are massive deals for 35 plus um, players and then it's just these like one-year deals that are huge on our books right now um, 
So I'm going to be looking, I'm sure, to move some people at the deadline. But we are going to go ahead and get through our first three games with the Orioles. I'm going to auto-fix those lineups. I st they need to get rid of the non-DH lineups because there's just no use for them. Um, we're 0 2, but we're going to go into scouting, which ah, I think I forgot to fire scouts. Yes, I did. Well, these don't look awful. Mm, they kind of do. Give me one sec. I'll be back. No, I can. Okay, so I can still fire scouts. Good. So this guy, first of all. Um, I need a high efficiency. I mean, this guy's fantastic. Yeah, we're hiring him. That's the rest of our money, though. Okay, I think this is what I'm going to actually end up going with for scouting. Um, and then we are going to go ahead and start scouting. Um, the biggest weakness, I think, in this organization overall is pitching. Uh, so I think we got to start there. We got to start. Um, I mean, I guess we can look at prospects who's projected um, specifically out of starters. Um, there's some, there's a decent bit of guys here in the, the top, uh, first round or so. We're going to just start scouting position. We're going to look at starting pitching. Uh, we're going to start international cause that's normally the biggest pool of players. Um, everybody is pretty good at looking at pitching. So we're going to just put all three of our guys here. Um, For the first week Let's see how week two or week one really goes um auto that so we're four and four week two um of scouting coming up uh, at the end of the month i'll go over statistics and do any trades or anything like that but we have 29 guys scouted Let's look at our prospect list. See um, our recently scouted. This guy jumped up to a number to the number four on our board. He has no control velo or break though, so I don't know about him. He's jumped up to six. Alex Fernandez. He's looking a lot better. Um, I like that. Home run per nine's a little low, but besides that, he's looking good. Got a seventy percent scouted already on this guy high potential it's looking like um probably won't fall to us at 14 but we have three second round picks so there's a lot of damage that we can do in this year's draft um i think i'm just going to keep looking at those guys um and just have this be again a pitcher heavy draft um we're gonna let the cpu figure that out i'm not too worried about winning this year because i don't think we're going to i mean as proof so far being six and nine nice um walter chow despite being really bad at control velocity and break with just a two seam a slider and a change up is like a guaranteed high potential guy i don't know if he'll even fall to us in the first place but there's some other guys i really like this alex fernandez kid um sam diaz looks good besides those walks which is really hard to sim with low walks um this guy's 100 percent scouted locked in b potential might be our second pick so i think we're gonna go um and change it up a little bit we're gonna leave um we're going to leave one scout, Scouting International, and we are going to start going, we'll just go east to west, going east with the rest. Uh, we're not good. So we got 19 guys. Um, being scouted on the East Coast right now. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to keep going with this for a while and let um, let Logan Worth finish up our internationals and have Craig MacArthur and Richard Damon um, 
keep moving on those eastern prospects. That's fine. And he's right back. Um, so we are picking up some wins. And it just so happens that um, this is the last day of the month. So let's go ahead and look at how people are are playing on the team. Who's leading us in hits right now? I'm going to guess... Oh, really? So Devers is not hitting well, but Verdugo has got a 371 on base and a 316 average. That's great. Can we get that overall up soon when the month changes over? Um, Turner is getting a lot of at-bats. Getting a lot of hits. Not doing much with it. Royo's hitting well at shortstop. Like to see that. Oh, I did put Trevor Story in. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, I just kind of said screw it. Let's just play him. And he's hitting very well. Got a 340 OP. Um, OBP. Let's see what his OPS is. His OPS is 851. Not bad. Um, highest on base is Yu Chang. Doesn't count. Kike Hernandez. He's playing well. Um, let's see what our highest OPS is. Story, Hernandez, and Verdugo. I like it. Um, we are not seeing much out of Devers. A 304 OBP isn't terrible, but hopefully it's just a bad month. So let's look, look at our war for the month. Who's been leading us? Verdugo. Dahlbeck is a whole negative war. <laughs> um, we're going to check double A. See who's leading us in hits. Actually, OBP first. Blaze Jordan. Not helpful. Nick York, for some reason, is only a C potential in this game. He's playing very well. Hopefully, he can start to improve. Um, no one else I want to see there. Triple A. I am very interested in this guy, Tristan Casas, who is a huge part of the Red Sox future um, in real life. Hopefully, he will be here too. He's not hitting great. Um, he's actually not doing very good at all. Tapia is doing fantastic down at AAA. Jaron Duran is playing fantastic. That is great to see. He is a huge part of our future, hopefully. Um, hopefully that beat potential um, can get him up into the 80s and somebody that we can use. He's one dotting. He's the only player in our organization one dotting. I'm still not bringing him back up because he's not on the team in real life. Oh, well. Let's check out pitching. Um... I will come back to Bayo. We're going to start Klubot. He started three games when Paxton went down. He's got a 5-3-5 ERA. It's terrible. Whitlock's pitching terribly. Sale is pitching every... Okay, so it's our pitching staff. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's already what we're going to be addressing. Paxton's playing terribly. Pavetta's the only one pitching okay so far. Brazier is just bad. Joely Rodriguez is bad. His whip is 2.4. Uh, let's look at the war. Yeah, the war is not going to be good. Whitlock, really, almost a full war player. Full 1.0 war player. Yeah. All right. We're going to look at double A. There is, like, no pitching prospects in this organization besides Brian Bayo, so I'm going to kind of not waste my time this month besides with Bayo. 209 ERA. He should be in the rotation maybe by the end of next month. We're going to look at scouting. I really like Alex Fernandez. I don't know if he's going to fall to us. Graham Stockton seems to be coming up. Got really high velo. Damn, that 90 mile per hour slurve is nice. We'll see. Yeah, we're just going to keep going on that. Well, actually, did I finish international? Are my international guys done? No. I need two more weeks of international. And here we go. Next month. That Sogard guy cannot stay healthy. Jesus.
we're back to above 500, which is great. We're still last in the um, division. The Orioles are 28 and 5. What the hell? All right, let's get our notifications of who's doing real bad and real well. Nobody I'm worried about so far. And Bayo playing well. Um, he's not really getting better yet, which is my goal for right now. So this will be the last week for international guys. The eastern guys are almost done. Great. Just gonna keep trucking with that assignment. I've done, I don't know, maybe 10 drafts in this game now. And I found trying to cast your net as wide as possible, especially when you're in the middle of the draft like this, it just it doesn't work. Because um, you're going to weekly scout, or you're going to fully scout a few guys, and you might have nobody there in the second round that you've even scouted at all. So I'm just going all in on a few positions per draft, and hopefully we can build out an organization that way. And we're going to find out over the you know the course of these videos if I can actually do that. All right, so all our international guys should be done. And we're almost done with the eastern guys. So we're going to edit scouting assignment. We're going to go central. We are going to go central. East will be done within two weeks. Whitlock's out a day or two. He should be fine. He's back. Don't know who that is. Okay. Oh, this Graham Stockton has jumped to number three on our board. Interesting. He's about, he's almost on this. Okay, Charles Wheeler. I like seeing these guys jump up, but well, until they're 100% scouted. Um, it's hard to know. And the thing is with like this guy, you know, if we if we would scout him out more, maybe he's a generational talent. He's the draft rank two, and we have pick at 14. So even identifying a generational talent at this point um, doesn't do a ton. Yeah, we're just going to finish up our eastern region, keep going with the central. Um, getting close to the end of May. I don't know how long these videos will be, because again, most of it is just going to be me chatting over this. It's not, it's almost going to be like a stream style. Um, except I'm not streaming. Eastern should be done. Yep, he is... Uh, it's a wide potential range because he's a high school pitcher. Always risky taking a high school pitcher. Um, he's already got a really good slurb and two seam. We'll see. Uh, the central's almost done, I think. Is that right? No. Well, some of the central guys are almost done. Yes, 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 some of the central guys are almost done. Let's just go ahead, slap everybody on central, and we're just going to finish up central this week, and then we'll go to the west. And we are going to go here. See how we did this month. Tapia had another outstanding month. Maybe I do bring him back up or trade him or something. Um, Geddes played really well. Walter played really well. Okay. Casas is playing really well. I, ooh, he's not getting better enough to bring him up. I'm not going to stunt his growth like that. I'm just going to let Dahl back suck that's fine trevor story continuing to play well devers getting yeah he got back on track it was just a bad month that's fine um and he's getting better too which is excellent um 
Justin Turner obviously is getting worse because he's a 38-year-old, and this game just hates guys over the age of 35. Still playing well, though. I mean, he's not playing as well as he did for the Dodgers, but, I mean, I'll take a 330 OBP. Uh, I skipped over, oh, wait, we are not going to have any stats for Marcello Meyer, but he might be getting better. He is. He should definitely be in double, uh, double A. We're going to put him in double A. Make sure that he gets um, in that starting lineup, too. Verdugo, again, I don't, he's, I don't understand why he's not getting better. Like, a lot better, like, overall-wise. Yoshida is playing terribly. Kike, slightly below average. And Duval is playing okay. Well, all right. I'm going to make sure that we have Marcello Meyer starting. How fast is he? Not super fast. I'm going to put him in for Nick York. And hitting that too? Yeah, that works. That works. We'll send Nick York down to single A. Actually, no. No, we're not. We're not going to send Nick York down to single. Well, he might get better down there. All right, so that was the month of May. We are into June. I'll fix those lineups. Tanner Houck is better. Good. What's going on with this rotation? Why is Kluber playing? No. Well, he is pitching better. I guess maybe we should take out Paxton for Pavetta. Yeah, we'll do that. Not that this year is going anywhere anyway. But we were all on Central, so we should be done done. No? We are not done with Central. We're getting close, though. And then we'll be able to go all in on West. I guess I should add positional needs so we get more interest starting pitching. <laughs> um, yeah. We should be done with that next week. I, I, I will go through this a lot slower coming up. Tanner, how can just not stay healthy? Once this organization is more mine and not um, the base uh, Red Sox organization that it is right now. Um, once I get my fingers on it a little more. Whoa, Jonathan Ward. Low strikeouts. High stamina. He's definitely a starter. Okay. Ced Cedric Saunders. This is why you... I mean, this looks like a very strong class. Everybody is interested in signing with us. Looks like we're going to have some options. Great. All right, let's start looking at the West, and then we're almost done. Almost ready for the draft. Everybody's getting healthy on the same day. Sweep the Rockies, that's nice. A nice little winning streak there. Garrett Cole. Yeah, we only got 13 pitchers in the West. So, does that mean it goes faster? I don't actually don't know if that's true. They're not looking great so far, but... Ooh, they are not looking good at all. Well, let's do it one more week, and then maybe I'll throw a few, um, like, closers or relievers on. Um, see if we can get anybody fully scouted. Um, but I'm probably just going to go starting pitching this draft. It's fine. And Kluber's hurt. Okay, we are going to throw him on the 60-day. Yep. I am going, let's see, how's Bayo doing overall-wise? 
That's tough. Because I don't want to stunt his growth if he comes up to the... Uh, he's only throwing 378. You want to see that be better, I think. Let's see if there's a free agent, maybe. And I will eat that money if I need to at some point. We are going to throw... Actually, maybe we'll put Paxton back in the rotation. And just let Alec Mills be a long... Oop, what did I do? A long reliever guy. Eh. Let's give him a starter or two. See what happens. Where are we? Let's give him to the end of the month. All right. I mean, maybe these guys will pop when they're fully scouted, but it's not looking likely. We're just going to discover a couple pitchers, and yeah, the East and International, just see how that goes. If we find some guys, great. If we don't, oh well, I feel really good about our board right now. Alright, end of the month, how did he do? Fine, honestly, better than Pavetta, so that's fine. He can stay there, he can keep his job. Paxton's going down, that's unfortunate. Um, I think we'll probably switch out and have a very righty rotation. Well, 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 Tanner Houck and Garrett Whitlock are finally getting better. That's what we like to see. There we go. I like it. I think these these two will be here long term to some extent. Okay. Bayo had a solid month, they say, they're saying. Love it. Let's go to Tapia. I don't want to trade him for much, but I do want to trade him because he should be in the MLB. He's getting better. All right, I think I'm going to take this deal for Junior Caminero, 19-year-old uh, C potential. I wanted a position, position player. Um, I don't really care about trading within division, to be honest, for this at this moment. Um, so we got a C potential player. Nobody crazy good, but I'll take it. Uh, Devers is going up overall. Love to see it. Okay. Um, simulate through this day. And did we find anybody? We did view them on recently scouted. Uh, a waste of time. Okay. All right, so this is what I'm going to look at for the uh, last week to see if um, if those guys fall to us. Uh, maybe we'll do something with them, but I doubt it. But I want to finish off Finnegan. Um, he was the West Coast guy that was worth looking at that we did not finish. All right. All right. Let's look at making our board. So Cedric Saunders is our number one overall player. He is projected to go 49th, um, or the draft ranked is 49th. Jonathan Ward is another guy not ranked, number two on our board. We might be able to get him in the second or third round. It's always risky. You know, it's somebody else see him, et cetera, et cetera. I don't think I'm going to put Walter Chow on our board. He just does not look like a good player to me. I, I'm, I am aware of the <laughs> potential. Uh, Percy uh, Gagnon seems like a good player. 20th overall, 4th on our board. Graham Stockton, again. Duke can throw hard. Good stamina. 69th. Fifth on ours. That's what you like to see. This closing pitcher is good. Um, we're going to throw him on the board. I think there's almost no way we draft him. A guaranteed a potential fourth year senior, as long as our guys scouted correctly. Okay, then. Um, high school pitcher Isaiah Tippett. 
um, not ranked 10th on our board. Alex Fernandez. Looked at him a little bit earlier. I like it. Um, Robert Tracy, same. Okay, might as well just look at... Um, what am I doing? Oh, that is our team rank. We just might as well just look at starting pitchers. Um, Sam Diaz looks all right. I'm going to build out the rest of the board, and I will... Um, I'll talk to you guys when we get to the top picks. All right, so we're going into the draft. Um, might as well start it up. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see who the Pirates take. Real life tonight, they took Paul Skeens. Let's see if they take a pitcher. In this draft. No, they took a catcher, Johnny Green. And it's the Nationals. Dylan Cruz in real life. I'm assuming that everybody watching this knows that you can't import draft classes. Um, so these are always going to be auto generated. Third baseman. The Tigers, I believe, took Max Clark. That's right. Yeah, because Langford went four. And will a pitcher go off the board now? No. Three position players. Um, so we're going to look at the prospects. I'm going to look at the... I don't know, they're not even giving us a draft rank. Um, okay, Gagnon went. I liked him a lot. I'm going to let these picks Sam Diaz went. I'm going to let these picks go before we pick at 14, but then the rest of the way I'll, I'll cut it out. Sam Diaz goes, ooh, a pitcher that I did not like, or that we didn't like, a seemingly B potential player, goes to the A's, um, center fielder, goes to the Reds, the Royals are up and almost done, here they come with Donnie Wright, center fielder. It's hard to pass on Cedric Saunders. He might be generational. If he is at the high end of his potential and his overall, he could be generational. But I don't know that for sure. Jonathan Ward looks really good. He is not generational. Um, that closer's still there. Let's see, Graham Stockton went. Ah. Well, hard to take a high school pitcher there. That A potential guy that we really liked went. And Cedric Saunders went. And Walter Chow went. Okay, interesting. So, Jonathan Ward seems like the guy. Uh, I like him, but I don't think I'm going to take the closer. I, I mean, Tippett is a no um, at 14 overall. Uh, Fernandez, oh, that's risky. I think, I mean, I don't know, Russell Temple was not my idea going into the draft. He wants 8.6 million for his bonus demand though. And we can get Jonathan Ward our number 2 overall player with a 240 bonus demand. I mean, obviously we're going to probably end up giving him more than that, but he has a low strikeout number. I don't hate his mix. Good home run per nine. Good control. Ugh, this is tough. They took the... Wanted Cedric Saunders. I bet you Arizona. I bet you he's going to be generational. Ugh, that sucks. I, f 
feel good about Fernandez. It sucks that a lot of these guys are um, high school because they have really high ranges. Salgado, yeah, th I can't take a guy 30th on my board. I think it's just got to be Jonathan Ward, and we'll live with the cons. Ugh, is it Russell Temple? I really don't want to take a closer here. Yeah, now we're going to take Jonathan Ward. Number two on our board. $2.1 million bonus demand. That's great for us, um, considering we only have $10 million to play with with our slots. Um, so we're going to jump forward in the video to the uh, to the next pick. All right, so we're on the clock again. Um, I wonder where that closer went. Because so I did just zoom forward a little bit. Um, where'd he go? Damn, do you fall that far? Wow, he went 35. Okay. All right, so I already killed 20 seconds. Way to go, me. Um, now this guy looks more appealing here at 48. We have back-to-back -back picks, at, picks at 62 and 63. Alex Fernandez is still there. I think he's probably going to be my pick right now. I also do really like Salgado. As long as our guys did it right, he's a guaranteed B potential player. Obviously a higher range for Fernandez. Um... I, I like Tippett, but the only thing he has above average is his stamina. So I don't know if I trust it. The only thing below average, or well below average, for Fernandez is his break and his home run. Salgado seems like a more well-rounded player. Fernandez shouldn't have dropped this far. Maybe our scouting's off. But then again, maybe we get a steal. Let's take him. Taking Fernandez. Hopefully, Salgado will be there at 62. He is not who took him from us. The Mets. Damn. Well, Tippett's still there. So is Dave Matlock, who does not seem fantastic. I mean, I think we take Tippett here just to trust our guys. Um, maybe we wait a little more, wait until 88 and take him. Because I'm just, I'm, I don't see it. I, I just don't see it. Even here, I, I don't know. Durbin. Seems like a more well-rounded player. Doesn't have a ton of break to his game. Um, I like that range, but there's not much to William Anderson. Um, who's that 2.2 million guy? Yeah, let's not do that. All right, I think I think I'm gonna go Dave Matlock here. Maybe. Ugh, we have the money for him. Yeah, let's take a shot on Durbin. Why am I stressing? I have another pick right now. Do I want Anderson? Or do I want Matlock? Madlock. Oh, choices, choices, choices. I'm going to go with Madlock because he has a higher overall right away. At least 21. Now, if Tippett will be there at, what do we got next? 88, I will take him. And he is. Uh, 
Well, we only got two guys left on our board. And it looks like it's going to be him. Hino Josa. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to take this guy. Diego Campillo. If our guys are right, he has a really high potential player. And we can still get him too. Great. We're going to go to the last guy we have scouted. Sure. Might be a C potential player. Alright, that's the draft. I'm going to see if we have somebody in the derby. If we do, I probably still won't play. So we didn't have anyone in the derby. Um, I don't know who our all-star is going to be. Let's double check that real quick, and then we will sign our draft picks. Our all-star is Kenley Jansen. Is he even playing well? Not really. Do have anybody in the lineup? Devers. Devers made it good. Yeah, he's playing really well now. That power should be going up. Alright. Alright. The real order of business right now is not all-star. It is getting our guys signed. And see if I can sign Madlock just off the rip. Yes. So we got Madlock. Who else is just interested? Playing out. Could probably get Campillo. Yep. Might be able to get Hino Josa right now, too. Yep. Mm, don't want to screw around with these. Uh, he is a low enough. And I think I can just do that. Get Jose Cora. And let's see if I can get um Yeah, we're gonna do that. Gonna offer a contract of Durbin here. He signs. Got a lot of money left to play with, which is great. Um gonna give it another three days. And we sign our first round pick, Jonathan Ward. We got four million left to play with. Um, we'll give it one more week, see if we can save, or not one more week, one more three day period, see if we can save some money. Send this series against the A's, which we rightfully sweep them. Fernandez signs. Tippett's the last guy to sign. I can definitely get bumped this up. And we signed our whole class. Great. With a little money to spare. Um, now the question is, yes, trades. That is going to be the question. Verdugo for Brian Abreu. Uh, no. I, I don't think I'm going to do that just because Verdugo is playing so well. He's only 26. Yeah. He's almost got a 400 OBP. No. No. Mm, I'm going to send through this 
And then we're going to look at some trades. All right, so first deal I'm going to do here, um, because they have a... I know this isn't really a raise move, but they have a ton of money in their budget. Um, I'm going to send Kenley Jansen to the raise and pick up Jonathan Aranda. So the next deal I'm going to make is sending away Enrique Hernandez, a.k.a. Kike Hernandez, to the Reds for Edwin Arroyo, um, who is playing decently in AAA. I think I'm going to have him probably play in AA. Um, maybe this wouldn't happen in real life, but just like in real life, the Reds are in first place, and they could definitely use a player like Kike Hernandez. So I'm going to do the deal. And then I'm going to just say that Justin Turner wanted to go back to the Dodgers. We're going to take a seat potential, and that's all I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to fix the lineups, and then we're going to keep going. I want to see one thing here. Yeah, Verdugo is second in batting average in the American League. Fourth in the whole league. Great. Love it. All right, so real quick, we're going to be looking at the top prospects. We got Marcello Meyer. Marcelo Meyer, I don't know how to pronounce his name, to be honest. I've never heard it said out loud. Uh, he's number six. That's great. I... Uh, don't we got Edwin Arroyo? Um, we're gonna actually stay in at double at single A. That's fine. He can improve there at twenty. So we traded for a top twenty prospect at the deadline. Like to see that Miguel Blyce, also a single A guy. He's at thirty nine. We got Casas at forty six. So not too bad. Um, but we are going to go to the actual deadline and then see our draft picks. I already fixed that. No. CJ Crone goes for Harry Ford, prospect I was going to look at. Um, guess the Mariners want to try to make a run for it. Ryan Helsley from the okay from the Astros for Pedro Leon, who's always a good player. Pick up. Sale will be fine. Sim through this extra day. Chris Sale's better, and we lost. And this is the big moment. How do we do? Yes, dude. We did awesome. We did so well. Jonathan Ward, a potential. 97 potential. Alex Fernandez, 86 potential. Jim Durbin, 64 uh, overall, 82 potential. Dave Matlock, 82 potential. Already a 69 overall. Highest overall so far. And Tippett, look at this. Isaiah Tippett's in 99 potential. Diego Campillo, 92 potential. Hino Josa, 85 potential. And then Cora, being a sixth rounder even with C potential is not bad. We just loaded up on pitching. Let's go. That's huge. Is there anyone who has terrible stamina here? Not really. Um, Fernandez and Madlock and Durbin, these three, one of them might end up being um, our, long, uh, our main long reliever if somebody doesn't, if they don't develop their stamina at all. But I'm seeing a lot of starters here. Campillo's stamina is insane. Well, a lot of these guys are going to be long down the line, three or four years down the line, um, if not more. But still, that's great. Let's look up some contract extensions, see if there's anybody we, I want to extend for Dugo, probably. This dude's overall should be so much higher. Look at that OPP. What is he? What's his OPS right now? 870? What is going on? No, you are an everyday player. And looking at my... I don't know if I want to give him a five-year deal. Yeah. Maybe we wait and just do arbitration for one more year. Tanner Houck. Yeah. How's he pitching? For it? Mm, what's he looking for? I'm in a contract right now. Get him through arbitration. He doesn't want much at all. Which I wouldn't mind taking him out of arbitration question is just whether or not I want to extend past that. What was he looking for? 5, 
Uh, I think I'm ready to make this commitment to him. You know what? Yeah, you will be our ace. See how low I can go on him. There we go. That's right there. Four years, 10.1. Great. Shriver. Uh, only 29. Pitching really well. He's also arbitration eligible for several years. Let's not underdo it. Fine with me. Arroyo. Hmm. Average player. Probably just going to go with... Um, renewing or um, arbitration for the rest of these guys. So I think we're done with that. Uh, I will see you at September call-ups, I guess. So Kluber's going to be back. Um, I'm going to send Crawford back down to AAA. Probably for 13 days, and then we'll probably bring him back up for call-ups, but regardless. Okay, so it's time for September call-ups. Don't want to stunt anybody's growth. Bayo is pitching decent, but he's not getting that much better. Maybe he just needs to come up and, and throw in the bigs. And that's just got to be what it is. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to put Bayo into the starting rotation, see how he does. Um, who else do we want to call up? Probably Cutter. And then we definitely want to bat. Alfaro, maybe Casas. I mean, he's improving a lot down in single, in AAA, so I think I'm going to leave him. Marcello Meyer is not going to... I hate this bug. I hate this bug in this game. You put him in your starting lineup, no matter how much you finick with it, at least he's getting better. Like, at least, I mean... Yeah. Still, that bug annoys me. Royo's getting better. Good. I don't know who I want to bring up. Yeah, let's bring Duran up. Well, yeah, he's on the 40, man. Let's bring Duran up. Give him some at-bats. All right. I will see you at the end of the season. So somebody got hurt. Um, I'm not bringing up Casas on a cold streak. Do we have room on the 40, man? We do, so I'm going to bring up Alfaro, just to make that easy. So, the AAA Red Sox did not make the postseason, and the Sea Dogs did. Look at that. We're not going to stop simulating, though, for our AA team. And we won the semifinals, and we're playing the Flying Squirrels in the championship. Great. We were 75 and 87. Let's take a look at the playoff tree. Um, three teams from our division made it. Toronto, Baltimore, and Tampa. Let's look at the standings. How close were the Yankees? Not that close. Not that close. Good. Bitter rivals. Um, fourth worst in the AL. Got an award. Let's see who we got. Yoshida wins Rookie of the Year. Really, he was not playing well. He still didn't play that well. <laughs> okay. That's our one award winner. I guess, actually, let's look at all the award winners. Uh, Trout and Burns win MVP. Interesting. Cy Young goes to Bieber and, no doubt, Corbin Burns. Correa wins the batting title, along with Bryce Harper. 
Bednar and Bautista win reliever, and Sango wins rookie of the year. Hank Aaron goes to Trout and Harper. Uh, let's see if we had anybody in the running for a glove. Did not for a silver slugger. Devers wins silver slugger. He's up to an 87 overall. He had a, a really good season. Yeah, good season. And that's a no. So, let's look at our stats. For Dugo is really, really good. He has almost had he almost had a 400 OBP this this season. That is incredible. They need to stop running him though. That uh stealing ratio is not looking great. He does not strike out that much either. A sub 100 strikeouts. I mean for career, that's I mean that's awesome. I, mean, I love Verdugo. That's great. Devers love Rafi. Um, still don't know if I love that contract, but regardless, Arroyo hit really well. Um, he's improving. Story did pretty well. He's technically improving also. Yoshida was fine. Duvall was meh. McGuire was fine. I don't really care about the rest of these guys. Um, pitching. Whitlock. Almost got to 200 innings. 413 ERA is not terrible. It's not great. Um, oh, well, I thought I was sorting by innings. Sale actually pitched our most innings. Maybe we'll be able to get something on the market for him this offseason with a 357 ERA. I tried to at the deadline and I did not get much um, traction on it. How did Bayo do with his few innings? Okay. He did get, he got better though. So I guess that was the right move. Yes. Good. Um,. Yeah. Let's look at our wars actually real quick. Sale, Whitlock, Kluber, Hulk, and Paxton all had a above a two. Position player wise, our war. Leader was Reese McGuire for Dugo up there. Christian Arroyo also up there. And Duval was our one of our two negatives. So let's look at our so let's look at our guys down here that matter. Marcello Meyer. Oh, did they already clean up these stats? Oh yeah, they already got rid of those stats, so that doesn't matter. Never mind. We're going to go we're playing Altoona. The curve win. We are going to sim to about here. See who's in the series. Minnesota and Atlanta. That's weird. Huh. Minnesota has lost one game going into the World Series. Wow. Uh, sorry, Minnesota fans. I don't think that's going to happen in real life. And the Braves beat them in five anyway. So we're going to go to the offseason. Paxson retires. Cano goes to the Hall of Fame. Let's look at our staff. Um, okay, so our farm director is good. Our third base is fine for now. Our hitting coach is awful. We are firing him. And we are also going to fire Dave Bush, pitching coach. I'm going to go after Dark Rivera for our pitching coach position. I'm going to offer him that. He looks happy with that. We are not rebranding the team. Exclusive rights free agents. I think I'm going to let everybody go here. Mondesi, Mondesi would be the only guy. And no, Kluber, no. Nope. So let's see if we get our guys. Oh. Okay. Weird. Alright. So I made an offer to somebody else because we lost our hitting coach, got our pitching coach, got our hitting coach. All right, so we're good on staff. 
Uh, no. There is no one I am worried about losing in the roll five. I'm going to tender all these contracts and I will be back. Okay, so offering contracts to everybody that I thought deserved one and or was sub 100k. Um, we ended up with just over 10 million offers. So let's do salary arbitration, which we have a lot of guys for Christian Arroyo. I'm just going to offer him... Let's go 2.8. You know, I'm going to offer everybody arbitration that I want to, and then I'll see you guys afterwards. All right, so I also offer, offered arbitration, offered arbitration to everybody that I wanted to. Um, Pavetta was the only one I chose not to. I just don't want to pay that much money for a 73 overall who did not play very well this season. Um, if we look at him, yeah, he pitched. He had over a five ERA. He has never really proven to be that guy, so we're just gonna let him go. Um, but money wise. Do we want to get any other money off the books before we go into free agency? I'm going to see if I can get sale off the books. And I'll come back to you when I'm done. Okay, so I can get him off the books to the Dodgers, which would give us $142 million to play with. And I could see the Dodgers doing that. What's their... They got so much money to play with. Can I get somebody decent off of them? Can I get, like, Gavin Stone? Ooh, I can get Gavin Stone. I can get Bobby Miller. Obviously, getting Bobby Miller is not realistic. But they do want him, which is fair. He's a, what, 86 overall? I'm going to figure out a deal with the Dodgers, and I'll let you know who I do. Okay, we are going to take Bobby Miller from the Dodgers, but we are giving them Chris Martin also, who didn't pitch super well this past year, 4.64 ERA, but immediately slots in to be their third best reliever, and uh, Chris Sale slots in to be their third best starter, who, again, pitched a 3.75, 3.57 ERA last year, which is really, really good. He's just not in my long-term plans, and I might as well get some value for him. So we're going to take Bobby Miller. Huge deal for us. Add him to that 40 man. Put him in the MLB. Obviously we can take Pavetta. So we got four pitchers. Right now, Bobby Miller, um, I think, is going to start for us next year. That's huge. Let's look at free agency. He's there. I'm going to offer him a contract. I mean, would it make the rebuild a little easier? Yes. Is this somebody who the Red Sox would actually target in free agency this year? Also, yes. He had a down year, too. Well, regardless, I'm getting him a contract. Um, that puts us at $62 million in offers. And I don't know if I want to go after anybody else unless I find out about Shohei. I like the idea of Jordan Hicks. Not closer, but definitely in the bullpen. Give him a th Ooh, he likes the idea of a three-year deal. I'll give you a... Three-year, 12-and-a-half contract? Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to go crazy on a closer. We're not there yet. Uh, nobody catcher-wise that I really love. Reese Hoskins, maybe? Yeah, how to grown play? 
Okay. No. Chapman had a really down year. I'm going to make my decisions on who else I'm going to offer to besides Hicks and Otani, and I'll let you know who I offer to. Okay, guys, so this is going to be who I am offering to. Shohei, Hunter Renfro. I'm going to see if I can steal both of them from the Angels. See if I can steal Ahmed Rosario to be our shortstop until Meyer is ready um, from the Guardians and Jordan Hicks, hopefully, from the uh, Cardinals. Let's see how this goes. We get Hunter Renfro. I will take that. We get Shohei immediately. All right, so that's how this rebuild's going. Okay. Worth it. This is just for fun, guys. Nobody get upset with me. Especially you Angels fans. I'm looking at you. Don't hurt me. We get Hunter Renfro back in Boston. That's awesome. All right. Well, now let's look at this rotation. <laughs> I've never done anything with Shohei in the show. And now he is our ace for the next 10 years. Let's go win a championship with Shohei Otani in Boston. That's awesome. We did not get... Um, Okay, well, this just changes my timeline. Uh, I want to win closer to now. Obviously, Shohei and Hunter makes us um, way more competitive right now. I'm also going to throw... Where are you, Hunter? Hunter is not the DH. Shohei is the DH. Um... Yeah, Shohei is going to be... Do I want Shohei or... I think I want Rafi to hit four and Shohei to hit... Yeah, what's his speed? 85? Shohei is going to hit three. All right, so I'm going to figure out this lineup. I'll be back to you guys and figure out what else we're going to do this offseason. Just saw that Bobby Witt Jr. is on the Orioles, and it says re-signed, so that means that the stupid CPU traded uh, him to the Orioles. Great. Also, Julio Urias is uh, red. That's fine. Also, I could sign Aaron Nola or Clayton Kershaw. I don't know if I should. Mm -hmm. Or Blake Snell to a one-year deal. Because we got Jordan Hicks. Let's go, baby. Okay, Alex Bregman got traded to the Mets. That's big. The Pirates acquired Luis Castillo for O'Neal Cruz? No. Sevy goes to the Angels. Rule 5 draft. Here we go. Luis Gonzalez. Uh. Ooh. Matsek. I will take him. Luis Gonzalez is still there. Um, I don't know if I actually have a use for him, so I'm going to say no. We're done. I hate that this game doesn't tell you when you get players. We got Ahmad Rosario. Let's go. Ahmed Rosario. Okay, guys, so this is what the lineup is going to look like for year two. We got, we picked up Ahmed Rosario, 
big time, $10 million contract. He is going to be our shortstop for two seasons when Marcello Meyer is getting ready. Obviously, Shohei Otani is a Red Sox. That is awesome. We also picked up Hunter Renfro for a good contract, $7 million a year after a down year. Um, hopefully, he jumps back up on the winning train with us. And those are the big additions um, to our lineup pitching rotation-wise. Bobby Miller, we traded um, for him, for Chris Sale. Um, we're going to be starting him in AAA. I rented Jack Flaherty uh, for a one-year $9 million contract while he gets ready. Uh, while Bobby Miller gets ready, I drafted Tyler Matzek um, in the Rule 5 draft, and I got Jordan Hicks to be a middle reliever for us as well. Um, so overall, I think a pretty successful offseason. I need to fill out our uh minor league system with guys who i did not want to pay and then um i'll see you at spring training i guess aaron nola signs with the twins kershaw goes to the mariners they are going all in crone goes to the phillies to replace reese hoskins boba Sheck gets traded to the guardians okay Blake Snell also goes to the Twins. Twins are loading up on pitching after going to the World Series. Okay, so money-wise, going into the next year, we got plenty in the tank. We're fine. $50 million. Um, Story might be somebody we move at some point in this series. Yoshida is definitely going to be somebody we move at some point in this series, but I don't know who is going to take that contract. All right, so we are here at spring training. Um... Again, this is what the lineup is going to roughly look like with Shohei Otani. Uh, super excited to be getting into year two. We got a lot of young talent um, in the minor league system now, especially with our pitching. Um, Matlock immediately is up there, above Alec Mills even. Um, obviously, we're not going to put him in the pros right away, but we got a lot of young talent uh, pitching-wise. Jonathan Ward a potential and our 99 potential isaiah tippett who we got in the third round i think um so yeah i mean obvious advantages to having a big budget and that this is just for fun for me to get used to playing some the show on youtube um we signed shohei otani so let's see if we can get shohei a rain in boston um yeah we'll be back with year two next episode so thank you guys so much for watching um, I hope you had as much fun with this as I did, and uh, yeah, I'll see you for 2024. See you guys.